Well, it's absolutely piddled down all weekend. Everything is sodden and soaked. They've been having a right roar around in the air, so we're gonna have to clear the bed today, and I'm gonna have to replace that tank, because they well and truly broken it. That's the polite version. Right, phone call to Mall Valley, I think. Let's see if they've got a tip-out drinker for me. Then that's fine, because I can carry on out of your favour, because I'm covered in grease, and I really want to shower. So what you're saying is you still want me to take them? You owe me a favour as well. What did you owe you a favour? I gave you I, I, mom, chocolate bombs. What? Mum rang me up last night and was like, you need to come down and help. She did not. She did. Did she? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's Mum. Mum owes you a favour. No, you owe me a favour. Don't be yeah, ungrateful. But, but you can help me fit this water tank. Well, I, I do have, I did say I'd go help Emma as well. Oh, you're spreading yourself a bit thinner then. Well, I didn't really, I, I, just, I just was told I was helping with parcels. I wasn't aware I was helping with the water tank. Half a job. It's not half a job. But you have you a haven't job. told me. What? Nobody told me. Right, so I'm still going to Cam then. That's all right. Holly can help you fit the water tank. There you go. And then you do this. Oh, but. Did you get back? Today, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> but so. Unless Sam wants to go, go and I'll jump in the car if you want to go. Well, no, I'm here there. now, I may as well. The thing is, though, why are you going to go have a shower if you're going to in the, in the I'm car? I'm not going that... to go have a shower now because there's no point. Well, you just said that you, you couldn't deliver your parcels because you wanted to go have a shower. I'm saying if Sam wants to go to Emma's, I will jump in the car with you and then we will go. Yeah, well, then I'm going to Moor Valley and I'm also going to go see the lads, so, so I'm going to be gone an hour, hour and a bit. So. Yeah. Why don't you go and have your shower? If you're greasy. Take my greasiness. Take my greasiness. Thank you. Love okay. you, Danny. See you soon. Bye. I miss you already. I mean, good night. Hot cup of tea. Cup of coffee when you get back. Okay. Bye. I just get the feeling I've been steamrolled. <laughs> I just do as I'm told. No, you don't. That's a fib. It's not a fib. That's a fib. How's that not a fib? How's that a fib? Right. Do not speak for 10 minutes. Oh, you spoke! You spoke, you see, you knew you couldn't do it. You've always got to have the last word, haven't you? To female. Oh, are you actually going to do it? Are you? Oh. See, this gives me the opportunity to see if I can find your inner chimp. <laughs> no, look. She's allowed in here. I know, but it's just, just not, what? not on me. Well, you're in her seat. I don't care. I know If I could sit up there, I would. That could I be interesting. That it. could be interesting. Right, there's some parcels delivered. So hopefully people get their Christmas cakes in time. Yeah. Okay, so next stop will be... Lads. Okay, time we are. We'll see the guys. So, did you notice on your um, Annoying the Chimp that one or two folks had uh, recommended some other books to you? I did, and I'm going to take note of them and um, read them after I finish this one. Yeah. I like uh, and it was quite a few suggestions. Yeah. Which I very much appreciate. Well, you're into Thank brain you. stuff, aren't you? I am. Psychology and like actual. and the biology of the brain and like. Oh, no, dementia interests you a bit, don't you? Yeah, I do. I do know. I know enough about dementia to make it look like I know what I'm talking about, but sometimes it can be quite dangerous. Can I get in there? Yes, you can get in there. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> they got it down. Got some of it down, anyway. They're having their lunch already. It's tea break time. Oh, tea break. Yeah. That's so cute. I'll be here. Have fun. You're staying in here, are you? Yeah, it's cold and wet and horrible out there. It's 12 degrees. Yeah, but I don't want to go out in the wet mud and gross. Oh, you girl. I don't care. <laughs> oh, well, a couple of hours ago, that was up there.
I didn't take long then. Well. Hey, what, sorry? Oh, was it a horse chestnut? Mm. All right. I well, we made a mistake then. Mm. All right, okay. That's going to be a bit more of a way in pot there, but I thought she'd come along this after. Yeah. She's added that. A boat. cherry tree or something? Cherry tree on the way with the green logo. Yeah. Uh, it's nearly a bit for a robot, so I don't think really we get that far, do Yeah. Well, this was the main one. So. Hmm. Great big Jew's ear on it. Oh, sorry, I can't say that. Oh, a great big ear fungus. Apologies. So, he's hey what? Oh yeah, he's been dead a while. Yeah. Well, this this was one of those ones I I actually quoted this one as I was driving out, and I think she said it was a poplar tree, and I just took it that it was a poplar tree and um, called it a poplar tree, and it's not. It's a chestnut. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. Well, the stump ain't gonna take a lot of groin, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Another bracket down there. That looks like um. Yeah. That looks like a dryad saddle. What's left of it? Quite nice chestnut chip. So good play area that is. All right, I'm gonna cut this cherry a minute. That one. Nice and simple. Yeah, it's about 40 minutes. Eh? It's about 40 minutes. It's that. Yeah. Well, you'll get off the cherry picker, won't you? So, you look to the oaks up there, so you know what you're doing with them as well. Yeah. So. Should be able to clear back from the building, from the driveway on the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of open. You get a cherry picker at this side, but whether you will or not, it's you wet. It. It's not too wet. Isn't it? Just take it steady over there, so. Alright, and have you seen the stuff at the back? Well, you probably won't see that anyway, because I will come back for that, so. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm off to Mole Valley by a drinker. Okay. The cat that destroyed the plastic one is just in, it's more or less in pieces. Mm. So, alright, I will see you in a bit. You filthy bastard. <laughs> I've been ordering that for you. Oh, you didn't like... have to put that down. That's only to stop it coming off your arm. It's sort of like a frog with like a cold. Okay. What's the smell? I don't really expect anyone. Well, apparently I did yesterday, but you know, that's so unusual. That's debatable. Oh, don't you know how to manoeuvre a car? Yeah, I do. I've come to the conclusion I'm a better driver than you. <laughs> In your dreams. I know I am. Yeah. Yeah, but you're a better driver than the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I was going to try to say was, I bet you could fly an X-Wing better than Luke Skywalker as well. And I reckon I'd be a better driver than you because I feel like my reaction time is better than yours. Oh, that might not be... Uh... Untrue. My reaction time is certainly slower than it used mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. But. Okay, here we go, see. But, although my reaction time may be a bit slower, my experience will still trump you with how to use that reaction time. Uh -huh. yeah. There's a dirty great big Santa Claus. It's one tied to a tree over there. Well, I think he's tied to the ground over there. Yeah. What happened to his head? Um, I think um, Beetlejuice's mate got hold of him. Remember that at the end of Beetlejuice? Oh, with the shrinking head dude. Yeah. yeah. When he swapped the ticket with the... Uh, Just shrunk his head. Yeah, right. Back up there, you. Great movie. Yeah. Deo. Deo. Mr. Deo. Did I like a man who wanna go home? Dead! Dead! Mr. Dead! Mr. Dead! Mr. Dead! Hey yo! Did I like a man who wanna go home? I remember something da 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 ba da wow! Oi! 
I know it's got something to do with a banana. They like a man, no one to go home. Offer a banana to the chimpanzee. <laughs> Do not remember the words. No! It's a good record, though. A great record. Yeah, it is a good record, huh? <laughs> That is content gold. You're welcome. Content gold? Yeah. You're welcome. What, the, the, the evidence that neither of us can sing? Neither of us can sing. Car coming. I got it. And a lorry. I don't want to die. No, nor do I. You get you first, though. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Christ, there's loads of them. Oh my god. All right, after the lorry? Yep, go, 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 go. Faster. Faster. The slowest getaway. I don't need to go that fast because there's a lorry that moves way back. Do you know what I watched recently? Like, do I have to burn an extra dinosaur just to get away fast? What's that film? Where like it's got the bloke with the mullet who was um, from that film like Chinatown or something. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. There was like a film made where like there was an island and it was a prison. Oh, um, New York. Um, yeah. Escape from New York. Yeah, I watched that recently. Snake yeah. Pliskin. Yeah. Was it Kate Snake Pliskin? Something like that. Yeah. I was watching it. I thought it was really good, except for the bit where like the helicopter came in to save them. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing so hard because like there's all this stuff going on. It's like danger, danger, danger. And the helicopter's just I was just the slowest getaway ever. That was for an added dramatic. <laughs> it was effect. like oh my god, Shh. like that. I was like like they'd be dead. They'd be dead. Yeah, that was um, <coughs> Donald Pleasance was in that. He played yeah. the president, didn't he? Yeah. Or the prime minister or whatever it was. Great yeah. movie. I Escape to New York. It. I think there was actually two of those, and they made I two. I think there was, yeah. And because then, then, what was the Chinatown film? Um, it's quite funny, isn't it? Uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. That was quite a good film, yeah. 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 It's quite funny. Kurt Russell's quite funny. Yeah. yeah. He's married to Goldie Hawn. Yes. Yes, he is. So they that, did Overboard together, didn't they? Overboard was a good film. I love Overboard. It's yeah. one of my favourite movies. They remade it and I refuse to watch the remake. Have they? Yeah, it's got um It wouldn't be the same. But they've they've flipped the, the roles so like the 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 man loses his memory, not the girl not the woman. Look, why mess with it? I know. Why mess with perfection? The film is yeah. epic. Oh, the biscuit knows where she is. Yeah. It's a very exciting biscuit. Right. right. Is this a pause? Yes. I have to wear the um, <coughs> surgical ones to go and visit mother in the home. Mm. And they all get stuck around That's the ears. You have to wash these, you know. Yes, yeah, all the drums are on the inside. What? Next time you say anything about my mask being covered in makeup, um, that's not makeup. No. That's worse. It's nat oh, that's natural, that is. I didn't put it there on purpose. But I don't actually get cow poo and gum. Like that and then put a mask on. How does it get there? Splashes. Disgusting. Kick, kick back. Fumes. Drive. Well, that wasn't too bad. No? Well, the drinker I've got mm -hmm. is, a, is a tip out one, so you can actually... What, you just pick him up and turn him upside down? No, you pull a pin and the whole thing tips out, so I could tip it to a bucket. Are you being facetious? I'm being funny. Oh, okay. You pick him up and turn him upside down. That's how you get rid of all the alcohol. <laughs> why, are you, why are you just assuming? Because that... it just sounds like, because like when you say drinker, you think of someone who drinks. Yeah, but you're you're immediately associating that with male. Yeah, because it usually is. I think there's plenty of lush women in here. I'm joking, of course there are. You sexist. That's like saying, when I say the word nurse, do you think of male or female? There you go, see. <laughs> Point proven. Or if, it's, or if it's a male nurse or something like that. I have some very fond memories of some nurses when I was in hospital with a broken leg. In fact, one of them, mm. a very nice redhead, um, shared her birthday with me. Same same age, same date, well, oh. that was the same time. And they actually came to visit me after I left hospital. Her and a couple of other nurses actually came to the farm to visit us. Mm. 
which is really nice. Uh, and I particularly remember one nurse at the hospital, um, 1983, I think it was. It was very, very hot summer. Mm. I was in War 22 of French A, which was like built in the war, I think. So, push way, yeah. Push way up, push way up. Well, no, push oh, way wait, up. Oh, you're so impatient, There's woman. Well, you're, if, if we don't take action, you end up sat there for hours. Or, and stay alive. Anyway, I was telling my story. Did you die? So, um, it was a particularly hot year, and the air conditioning had broken down in the hospital's laundry, and the laundry had gone on strike until it was fixed, because it was unbearably hot in there. So we, um, the patients weren't allowed clean linen every day. We had to have clean linen if we were lucky every other day. But under the normal road ahead closed, which one's closed? Did we just come this way? No, we were going to, but we, we cut off, so we can't go that way then. Bugger. We have to go past that. Anyway, I was telling me story. So uh, we couldn't have clean linen, and underneath the hospital bed sheets is like a plastic sheet. I know. Okay. Yeah. I know, but I was addressing the story. And the problem was, it was so hot, and I got so sweaty, that when you tried to sit up in bed, the sheets were actually stuck to my back. Maybe, yeah. And the smell. Yeah, it's gross. It was horrible. Anyway, there was this one nurse at the hospital, and I believe I remember her name being Hillary. Um, she wasn't very tall, and she was quite quite stout, but she was an absolute angel. She used to sneak me in clean because I had to have like a bed wash because I couldn't get out of bed because it was a traction. So. She closed the curtains around and she used to sneak me in clean linen every day. Aww. Yeah. She was lovely. She was there. And I made sure she had a big piece of my pie. Well, I spent my um, 18th birthday in Aww. hospital and Ginsters, or Ginsters, however you want to produce it, used to supply all our uh, pasties and uh, meat pies for the caravan site for the yeah, yeah, pub. Yeah. Well, the, Ginster's man, who I think was called Robert. Yeah. I mean, we are going back a lot of, lot of years now. Um, came into the hospital in his own time on my birthday with a great big um, pork pie. It was Aww. huge. And on top, in pastry, I had Get Well Soon Ian from a, everyone at Ginster's, which I thought was absolutely spot on. And we had a, that, that pie was big enough to give everybody on the ward, including all the staff, Aww. a piece of pie with their lunch. It's a very sweet it story. Was. It was. It was, because I'd been complaining that I'd not had a single get well card in there. <laughs> My God, you're such a princess. I, well, well like, all these people there were all these get well cards. Everybody cares no, about me. Like, well, they'd all waited until my birthday, hadn't they? Oh, that's quite sweet. So, uh... I've never spent a night in hospital. Oh, I spent uh, 22 days in there. Is that after your bike accident? Yeah. Yeah, nasty one though. Yeah, it was well, a bit nasty. So, but yeah, so um, we had a um, postman turn up on my birthday and he walked in the ward and dumped the bag on my bed. Aww. Which was lovely because we had lots of friends with the caravan site and the camping and the pub and all that. Yeah. So, so I went from no cards to like all the cards. And all, everybody there uh, because there was another guy in the bed opposite me whose name was also Pullin, but he was spelled I-N, no. from Thornbury. He'd broken his right leg, I'd broken my left leg. Mm. Um, but a lot of people on the war were going, oh, there are all these cards, I didn't get one. And then on my birthday, it was my 18th night. I know. Then um, I, had, well, I spent a morning then doing cards. It was great. Thank you. So. Just a big kid, aren't you, really? Yeah. Of course, there's always the best story of the whole lot of my stay in hospital. When I, when I first arrived. Do you remember this one? I wasn't alive. Okay. So, <laughs> you were I'll paint the picture. I, I, I had quite a nasty motorcycle accident where I had an argument with a, Car. a Jaguar's front door pillar at 55 miles an hour. Did he pull out in front of you? Yeah, he pulled out in front of me. And I, I lost the T-bone me. Yeah. Broke my left femur. Didn't you, you, it, didn't you break it and then you flipped over landed on all fours so the bone went like that and then went like that yeah 
That's why I had to go in traction. And you had to have a pin to pull, to pull, to pull the, the two bones. bone. Still got the pin. So that it wouldn't um, fuse wrong. Yeah. Well, they couldn't. They, they couldn't um, because I literally done so much damage. Mm. They pumped three and a half pints of fluid out of nasty, my leg. Nasty. Nasty. Anyway. Injury. Anyway, when I got into hospital, they put me in a St. Peter's splint. Do you know what a St. Peter's splint is? So imagine this, it is a steel splint that goes down both sides of your leg oh, and around yeah. your foot. Yeah, but, I know. But you have to put your leg through a ring. Yeah. So there's a ring at the top of it which holds it all together. And oh, there's pins in your legs, isn't there? Oh, that was afterwards. Yeah. So this is just like to, to, to keep it straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had a St. Peter's splint on. Well, the ring at the top, because it's made of metal, to cushion it is wrapped in cotton wool. Yeah. And then it's got like a leather covering over the top. So the leather color, co covering is skin colored. Mm. But the problem was I was losing so much blood in my left leg, the top of the St. Peter's splint became a tourniquet. It was cutting off the circulation to my leg. Mm. So they had to actually call the janitor in, the, the hospital's handyman, whatever else, with his junior hacksaw. Porter. No, I don't think it was a porter. I think he was actually just a maintenance man. Anyway, he came in with a hacksaw. And he's knelt on the floor next to me. I mean, all this time I'm, I'm high on gas or whatever else, and apparently I'd asked a couple of the nurses to marry me. <laughs> but um, so he cut the St. Peter's splint down by my hip. Yeah. Um, but it was a case of they had to pull it apart. Mm. So what we arranged was I had enough gumption about me was that um, if he got on his knees on the floor next to bed and held his side down because he couldn't really pull it down, I sat up, grabbed the other side of the St. Peter's splint. The ring and pulled it up, mm. which is what I did. So uh, whether I was showing off the nurse swear else, anyway, oh, I, I, no, I got you, I got I got a little bit carried away with pulling it up. So I yanked this thing up, but of course it had a jagged metal end on it where he cut it with a hacksaw. Yeah. So they put a piece of elastoplast over both ends of where the cut was. Yeah. So it didn't catch anybody or scare anybody. So so bearing in mind it's hot. I'm in this St. Peter's splint, I think, for two days mm. because they have to put me in traction before I can go down and have stamen pins put in my knee to pull, pull my leg apart. So, um, if you can imagine me sat in hospital, sat up in bed with a pair of shorts on, with this skin coloured tubular thing sticking out of my shorts and an elastoplast sticking on the end of it. Mm. So, it was a big joke within the whole ward. When really it was close enough to go, that I would sit there and hold him <laughs> so, and watch all the double takes mm. from all the visitors coming in because if you weren't looking quite right, it would look like I was holding something else. Yeah. But it was a huge joke on the ward. That, um, and they'd look at me and they'd go, Yeah, a broken knob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Dr. Warren used to come in and take blood out of me three times a day to check for uh, uh, blood clots. They have um, um, warfarin and mm -hmm. some, um, I don't know, it was a clockwork syringe thing that was plugging stuff in to stop my blood clotting too much. I see. Yeah, but they, couldn't, but they couldn't do it too much because I had to have an operation to put a pin in. Yeah. So they had to really control how much I was having. Yeah. Because you but, don't want to thin the blood to the point where they, yeah. they cut into you and you just... Well, the doctor on the ward Volcano of was uh, Dr. Warren. So, of course, I used to call him Bunny. Morning, Bunny! And he hated it. I bet he did. He hated it. So, on the last, up, the last, the last uh, sample he had to take with blood, he came in. And, uh, obviously, the beds either side of me knew what was going on because they were all there waiting for it. So, he came in and he got his 10 mil syringe out to draw me blood. And he goes, actually... I don't think that's going to cut the mustard today. He opened his jacket and he pulled out this massive, great big <laughs> syringe, and then the needle was like that. I bet the colour left your face. No, well, no, because I knew he was joking. <laughs> but it was like it was it was very funny. <laughs> but he definitely, definitely got his own back. So, so the hospital trip from a broken leg mm. was some of the worst days and some of the best days. So. Yeah. I have four stories about that. Arthur. 